Okay, well, welcome back. This is video number four, and let's talk about how to build a brand or a lifestyle. So now that you understand why you need to inspire people by building a brand attached to a lifestyle, let's discuss how you can actually do this in the real world, all right? So a brand is more than just a logo. You know, you can go on graphicriver.net or any other site and get a logo. That's not a brand, all right? I want you to understand that because I, I feel like a lot of people get confused. They feel like, okay, I'm going to get a logo. I'm going to go get a website and they set it up and that's it. It's more than that, all right? So I want to make sure that we get in the right mindset. You're going to be able to succeed in all that. So it's an attachment or an identity. That's what a brand is. And the lifestyle itself just helps kind of build and grow the brand. Now, you might be thinking, well, what if I don't have that lifestyle? Well, just wait a minute and I'll talk about that in just a minute. All right. So try to figure out as of now, what sort of identity you want to create as part of that brand and then figure out what people want to be like, what they aspire to be and all that. Right. Because our society has changed to the point where people want to find their identity. If they can find their identity inside of your brand, or even if it's just a little piece, they are more likely to feel attached to your brand. And then they're more likely to follow you. They're more likely to buy from you because they feel like they found a piece of their identity through your, you and you help them do that. So obviously as a brand, you want to help them find that piece of their identity. You want to help them in the long run. If they can feel that you're genuine, they're more likely to follow you, right? So, I mean, if you think about yourself, if you find something about yourself that could potentially improve yourself, improve your hobby, improve your likes and, and avoid the dislikes and all that, you're more likely to trust that brand, that person, that company, right? So same kind of concept here. They want to find and buy things that express who they are. So if you can help them do that via the lifestyle, via the brand, then you're going to be able to close a lot of sales on Instagram. So in our last example, as a scuba diver, what we can do is you might want to attract, let's say newbie scuba divers or expert scuba divers. So these are very, very, very different audiences, but it's crucial to know that ahead of time because ex expert scuba divers might want a certain thing. And then of course, newbie scuba divers might want a certain thing as well. So in other words, knowing who your audience is, is very, very important. So uh, think of your own business, what you're trying to sell and build a lifestyle around that. And think about, you know, what you're wearing, you know, what you buy, the software tools you you're buying, the, uh, the physical goods you're buying, the eBooks, the uh, educational material that you're buying. Just think of everything as part of that lifestyle. All right. So it really, what this allows you to do is it really allows you to expand potentially your profit margin. So instead of selling just one thing, you could be selling many different things that surround that particular product. Now, once you've gotten to this point, then it's time to think of a logo. All right. And you can easily get this off of graphicriver.net or you can go to upwork.com. That's U P W O R K.com. And you can find a graphic designer, a logo creator designer and get one created for you. Now, when you create a logo, you want to specifically choose something that relates to your niche. So a scuba diver attracting newbie scuba divers, uh, you could find you know, a scuba diver logo and name it something that would attract your audience. So, so newbie scuba divers are obviously going to want to learn from expert scuba divers and of course the same thing. So they might be attracted to a certain element, but they're still going to have a very different mindset, right? Newbie scuba divers, they might, might be more 
likely to buy pretty much everything. Uh, expert scuba divers may be more reluctant, right? Or more skeptical. So that's just something to think about as you begin to build your brand. So a quick recap here, make sure to create an identity and be ready to inspire. All right. So that's what it really comes down to. And that's what brings us to the next question, which is what creates inspiration, which we'll talk more about in video number five.